Okay, so I was in a pub about five years ago in London doing a gig. And I went downstairs uh, to the toilet, as you do. Locating the door with the, the man and the woman signs on it, I unassumingly pushed on it. And lo and behold, I crossed the threshold into a single bathroom. Not a short corridor towards two different bathrooms, just one bathroom. No trough, no urinals, just stalls and sinks. Rather well-kept ones at that. It was empty at the time, uh, and for a second I stood aghast at first, thinking, shit, did my brain skip a memory? Am I in the ladies' room? Am I in deep fucking trouble now? So I double-checked. No other door, no other room. That was it. The unisex toilet. Not just in fiction, not just on the TV. Actually, IRL. Men and women pissing and shitting in the same room at the same time. And the world hasn't exploded. <laughs> no one's getting raped. We're not having to step over the threaded corpses of sodomized children. Everything's fine. Nobody even cares. I really wanted to tell the world about it. It's not often you see something that appears to be genuinely progressive in the way that word is supposed to mean. <laughs> It is not often you see a test and a result of a simple but effective idea. But it's obvious when you think about it. Once upon a time, they had separate facilities for white people and coloured people. Because white people didn't want to get raped by coloured people. Do you remember how we got through that? Using progress. I'll, I'll dramatise it, shall I? Mate, you know white people, yeah? You know how white people are, like, not all rapists? Yes. Well, here's the thing, right? Neither are we. <laughs> what? Yeah, not all dark people are rapists. And here's the other thing, right? Not all rapists are dark people. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So, by segregating the bathroom, we're not actually saving anyone from rape. By Jove, that's a jolly good point. And now you mention it, it would be a lot easier if we only had to build half as many toilets. Wicked. So not only have we torn down the walls of segregation and built a sense of moral unity, we've also saved money. Well, I don't spanking well know what we call that other than progressive. Wicked. What are you doing, mate? I'm motioning to shake your hand, but it doesn't appear to be working. That was how we dealt with the problem of racially segregated toilets. Remember? We desegregated them. We paid no mind to the people saying, help, the darkies will rape us. We recognized that those people were racist. And not just casually racist. Impractically racist. When you're, when you're building an extra bathroom to accommodate your racism, that's when you have to admit your racism is not helping. We learned this lesson as a species. We're pretty much unanimously decided now. Racially segregated bathrooms were a bad idea. We were right to desegregate them and we never looked back. Cut to about five generations later. Some crafty little bugger asks, Why do we have gender segregated bathrooms? And the PC police on the progressive left scratch their heads like they've never scratched them before. They, they remembered the, the bygone lavatorial oppression of dark people, but how the hell do you weigh that against the ongoing eternal oppression of women? How do we get around this without revealing to the world that we think men rape in exactly the same way that racists think dark people rape? Then after what seemed like eons of scratching their heads into all manner of weird haircuts, someone came up with an idea. And that someone's name, which they painted upon themselves, was Target. All right, Target. You love it. <laughs> this is going to be sort of an exploratory medley, folks. I'm trying some, some different shit.
Uh, Target has made a big announcement <laughs> that in stores they will allow you to go into restrooms based on your gender identity and not the gender that an angry god shackled you to anatomically. Huh. Uh, why don't you just have one bathroom? Bathrooms, um, apparently, uh, should be used by whatever person decides what gender they are. So if you're born a boy, that's okay. You can decide at some point in your life that that wasn't okay. God made a mistake. Uh, I should have been a girl. Therefore, I can use girls' bathrooms. Why don't you just have one bathroom? Men, women who identify as a separate gender, a different gender, to be able to use those restrooms and changing rooms. Why don't you just have... Um, all right, they said, in our stores, we demonstrate our commitment to an in inclusive experience in many ways. Most relevant for the conversations currently underway, we welcome transgender team members and guests to use the restroom or fitting room facility that corresponds with their gender identity. What? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get an answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have to look for one. Okay, so let's try and find out. Who or what it is everyone has a problem with. This is not good. So a man can go into a woman's fitting room. You are asking for problems. I don't think man show watch a woman trying undergarments. <laughs> also, children shouldn't be in there while this is happening. Also, separate bathrooms as the gender you were born with. I won't be a customer anymore. Someone else will buy business. Well, apparently this... <sighs> So what's apparently today? Somebody uh, in in that taught her grammar uh, was also telling her of trans uh, people. So she's like, that's it. I'm not using correct grammar from now on. Mm -mm. Uh, Done. Nah. I need know this not. I need know this not is a grammatically correct sentence, dear fellow. Just as correct as I need not know this. The word not is like a skeleton key. It can fit just about anywhere in the sentence and its function is still understood. So you've already embarrassed yourself, just like when you came in saying this. This is not good. Uh, this is not good is also a grammatically correct sentence, no matter how stupidly you choose to pronounce it. Do you seriously think this in any way resembles journalism? Yeah. Displaying the dumbest Facebook comment you can find and reading it out like you're a malfunctioning kindergarten budgie. As for you, Chenk, one more time, who's she intolerant of? Uh, was also telling her of trans uh, people. Trans people, you say? You're worried about being in a bathroom with a trans person? In my memory, that's not what she said, but okay, we have your opinion. Trans people are the victims here. Thank you for your input, regressive left. What do you think, regressive right? Who do you think is the victim here? And that is going against uh, the Christian faith and beliefs. You don't say. Uh, because they're literally attacking uh, the, the Christians out there. And, uh, you know, this is, I mean, this is just common sense. I mean, even if you're not a believer in Jesus Christ, this should be alarming to you. I mean, sex offenders are real. They are sinister, twisted people. I haven't seen this many people play victim over a toilet since... <laughs> Let's just say my child just not would be proud. <laughs> that, uh, that little experiment, if you recall, was the beginning of a dark age of modern art. <laughs> An age of pretentious, vacuous schlock that only got worse and worse as it progressed. And I think this is how it's culminated. <laughs> Almost exactly a century later. Uh, now, bearing in mind that when we racially segregated the toilets, th the victims were the people being called rapists i.e. the coloured people, and of course the religious right said no, God is the victim, and the progressive left said no, the true victims are the coloured people who wish to identify as white people. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Why don't we just let coloured people use the white bathroom? No, 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 only if they identify as white people. WE ARE PROGRESSIVE! 
All right, are we up to speed? Because you know, I'm in several minds at this point. The left thinks trans people are the victims. The right thinks God is the victim. Looks like the ugly is going with good old women are the victims. I'm going to go ahead and look at the evidence. I'm going to try and make up my mind from that. And to test a supposition, I'm going to keep on the lookout for anyone who's offended by the idea of women going into the men's bathroom. Now, I'm sure someone at some point will express disgust and distaste at the idea of women endangering the safety of men and children. <laughs> that sounds like part of a balanced egalitarian diet, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's listen closely. I've just been hearing a lot of things about your restrooms, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to get it from a horse's mouth rather than stuff you read on the internet. What What is the bathroom policy here? So Target? the policy that headquarters sent down mm -hmm. was whatever you identify yourself as is the restroom that you are welcome Okay. In. So there you heard it, folks. And uh, I'm going to go over here. I want you to see something here at the restroom. Target, this is your wake-up call. Uh, no warning at all. Men, please do not bring unpaid merchandise into the restrooms. And over here, women. No warning that a man might be in there. No warning that a man might be in there. No warning that a man might be in there. A man might be in there. A man, a man, a man might be in there. Target, this is your warning. You will be judged according to God's standards. Not man, but God. I mean, do you think anything could possibly go wrong with it? Or do you think it's fine that men can go in the women's restroom? What, men going in the women's room? Uh, I just believe they should be separate. I, want, I don't want men in the women's restroom. I don't know, and I'm a pretty liberal old lady. I'm just not real sure that I want men in the dressing, in my bathroom space. My, my, my daughter's in the restroom. I'm just kind of guarding it right now because I was in yesterday and they told us that a man could in fact walk in on her while she's in that restroom. People want to pee in toilets? It's transgender people are the, are, are what the concern is. They're not pedophiles, they're just people. Well, no, no, we're not concerned about transgender. Well, I have some friends and people that I know that would probably identify that way, so I'm okay with whatever suits their needs. I think trans people are just trying to use a restroom and that's all they're doing. I'm all for everybody being who they are and that's fine. I think if you have uh, gender identification other than what you were born, you have rights. I'm just not real sure that I want men in my bathroom space too, so it's a, it's a tough way to call it. I'm pretty sure that if a cis man wanted to go into a woman's bathroom to be an asshole, he would find a way to do it. Where's the research? No, we're not concerned about transgender because we know there's normal people out there, but there's still bad people in this world that could use that loophole. Bad people, bad people, bad people. What, men? Men. 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 Man, 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 Any kind of man, who, man. any kind of man. man. So me right now. It's transgender people are the, are, are what the concern is. We're not concerned about transgender because, but there are perverts, there are pedophiles. What, men? Men. 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 I think they're perverted and they ought to go to hell. Yeah. Telling me that Harry or Dick or Sam or Mike or John can be a woman is insulting to my intelligence. Is it true that Target allows men to go into a woman's bathroom? All the sickos, the psychos, the perverts. Not only is it insulting to my intelligence, it's insulting to real women. Just common sense for women out there. The safety of women and children is a priority. I'd like to know if your manager would let their seven-year-old daughter end in there with a man walking in. We're going to put uh, the, the whole population of women at risk to sex offenders. This is a war on women. Hey, get this guy! Stop him! Stop this guy! This is a war on women. Stop him! Stop that guy! Wicked! Call the cops! Wicked! Call the cops on him! Wicked! Call the cops! This is a war on women. Get where he's fucking going! It's 2016. It's time for a change. No, fuck you! Follow this guy! No, you I caught you, you motherfucker! Wicked! I don't find that as a loophole. I have two daughters. Come here, you fucking piece of shit! Where are the two kids at, huh? This is a war on women. Keep running, motherfucker! I don't think so. Yeah, keep running! <laughs> okay, so um, this is a no-brainer. So, Target, good on you, great job. Yeah, I, I, yeah, at first blush, 
you sound once again like the butt plug flavored moron you are, Chank. But in a way, this has indeed been a rather interesting experiment. I mean, why? In the half century of racially des desegregated toilets, have we heard little to nothing about gender desegregated toilets? Because this is what happens. This is that malarkey I just showed you is what happens. You you get detailed, rich proof that men are the nigger of the world. And the establishment media finds it extraordinar extraordinarily difficult to report on that. It's because the entire corporate salary of the establishment media depends on the illusion that men are invulnerable and cannot be discriminated against. But they found a way! All that shit, men are perverts, men are rapists, men will abduct my children, they can report on it now. Because it's all explainable by this new thing. Transphobia. Women don't like sharing a room with men. Ah, it's transphobia. Women think all men are deviants and child rapists. Ah, it's transphobia. <laughs> this is brilliant. We can finally examine the poisonous vitriolic hatred that the public will spew about men. And there's no chance anyone will account it to misandry. Because <laughs> we can just call it transphobia. <laughs> they don't hate men. They just hate trans people. Which is really just another kind of misogyny. <laughs> See, when, when people say they feel disgusted and threatened by men, they're actually saying they feel disgusted and threatened by women. <laughs> it all makes sense now. So, guys, I got news for you. People aren't faking their whole lives and changing their gender identity and going through that trauma and telling their dad and everyone they know. Everybody they know and their dad. Why don't you know your dad, Jake? And then starting to dress as a woman if the, and or as a man, right? Opposite of what their gender appeared to be, etc. All so they can see a titty. Cenk, I have met rabbits who can shit Morse code into a more coherent message than the odorless dick vapor that comes out of your mouth. No one's fucking saying that, Cenk. No one's expressing a distrust in the conspiracies of the trans agenda. They're expressing distrust in the bodies and intentions of men. The unanimous response here is women and children should not have to share their safe space with anyone who has or has ever had a penis. Because those people are perverts and rapists, Chenk. The people who have ever possessed a penis are sexually dangerous. That is the consensus. The people are chanting at, at you and making no bones of it, and you still can't see it. They hate your dick, Chenk. And they're telling you so. They don't hate transsexuals. They don't hate homosexuals. They just hate your dick. And you're never going to understand that, Chank, because you get by on the illusion that the whole world loves your dick. Even the ugly bit, they ripped off of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, that's not why they're doing it. Chank, 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 yada, yada, yada. Look, I'm, I'm going to turn to the fellow on your left now because I get the feeling... He's about to accidentally explain something in that majestically oblivious way you folks always do. The only reason that the whole bathroom thing has come up is because they now realize that they look bad when they try to demonize the sexual practices, but they still want to make you uncomfortable. <laughs> Keep going, dude. Why don't they want men in women's bathrooms? They want you to look past the natural human instinct you have to see other humans as humans worthy of respect and fair treatment, and to instead say, ew, that's nasty. They're going to be in the bathroom with me. See, this is a really helpful message when you untangle it from your spaghetti. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm breaking the no turd twice rule and returning to the scene of the Turks. Because I, I can take your botched and upturned caterwaulings and turn them into something worthwhile. Go on and drive it home now. But as many people have pointed out, 
You're worried about being in a bathroom with men. You have already been in bathrooms with many, many times over the course of your life, and you have been perfectly fine with it. You probably didn't even know that it was happening. Elegantly put, sir. An excellent case for desegregating bathrooms, rather than just pretending to desegregate them for anyone who's willing to denounce their manhood. Now, Chenk, my darling, would you care to translate that observation for you and your fellow fat-headed simpletons? They're going to be like, oh my god, there's a man in the woman's bathroom! I knew they were coming for my titties! I knew yeah. it! Your horse's ass, Chenk. I cannot believe anyone ever respected you. I can't believe anyone took you off the hot dog stand and gave you a job. You're the most hog-fucked, microcephalic swamp snail I've ever seen manhandled into a suit jacket. You are a disgrace to the concept of grace, and you are a disgrace to the concept of concepts. Your life is a waste, Cenk. Now go ahead and deliver the most just plastically structured, top-heavy piece of victim-blaming rape apology I've ever heard outside of what Harbi Sharia caught. And be like, no, no, Ruth, that's because of what you wanted. Yes, this is happening. You yeah. made him come into your bathroom because yeah. you insisted that 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 person going to the bathroom that, with the gender they were born into, she was born as a woman, right? Yeah. But she's actually a man, and you force that man to come into your bathroom, yeah. Yeah. thereby making it a self fulfilling problem. Also, Ruth. Ruth. I, I know you're no expert in English, but perhaps it's your second language. So if, if that comment of yours was your very polite way, of saying, I don't like the sound of this because I was raped in a bathroom, then I'd like to offer my most sincere apologies for Chenk here, and my reassurance that not all of us are like that. I don't think it was your fault, Ruth, and I, you know, I don't think you forced him to come into that, but oh, okay, Chenk, mate, you should leave the internet forever. Sit, go. Ruth. I, I, I sympathize with your position, I do. But as your story indicates, or, or as my interpretation of your story indicates, rapes occur in segregated bathrooms all the time. Hence, segregation of bathrooms does nothing whatsoever to prevent rape. In fact, it provides a space in which a would-be rapist can be guaranteed not to be interrupted by a man. So really, if we are to prevent rape, perhaps the best course of action is to at least see what happens if we desegregate bathrooms. It might actually reduce rape. So I mean actually desegregate them, not quasi-desegregate them just for transsexuals and pretend transsexuals. They say there's no diversity repenting on the Young Turks, but... Are you still here, Cenk? I said get the fuck off the internet! You're ruining it! Get the... get the... go away, Cenk! And make me a ham sandwich! I'm gonna come back in another two years. If I see your face again, it had better be giving me a ham sandwich. So, you know, thank you for supporting men's rights, though. I look forward to you changing your mind on a shitload of other things as well, and never admitting to yourself or anyone else. That the bad people were right about it before you. It's MRA o'clock, y'all. Hit me up when we get fully segregated bathrooms and the feminists claim they did it. Because it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. Because of a thing called civil rights. Happy whatever the do you do, folks. Fuck off. Wicked! 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 Expect to lose some more! Start masturbating! <laughs>